morning guys so today I have this dog I've done him before and I believe I've done him on the channel a couple times if I can find those videos I'll link them up here in the card so um, he is always always very dirty they live out in the country he's always covered in dirt so we're just gonna get him a really good bath we're gonna do a number seven um, all over except the tail and then we're gonna leave a mohawk and so yeah we're gonna get started we're just gonna go ahead and get him in the bath usually i do sanitary and nails and all that first but he's just extremely dirty so we're gonna get him in the bath so here's what he looks like he is super dirty all this is supposed to be white you can see how red his mohawk is we do live in oklahoma we have really red soil and clay this is just caked on under here so to begin with i'm just gonna wet him all down let him sit for a minute let him soak and then we'll actually bathe him uh, because especially under here on his belly you know we've got dirts dirts clods of dirt so just gonna get started Today I am using the Esprit Perfect Calm Shampoo with Lavender and Chamomile. So we're just going to get him all wet. including his head. Usually I wouldn't do the head with the body, um, but his neck is really bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this sit on there for a minute and then we will start bathing him. All right, so he's been sitting here about a minute or so and we're just gonna start. He keeps trying to get by the edge. Um, I just don't want water coming out, so we're just going to start bathing him. Nope, you got to stay over there. And just really, you if you guys watch carefully, you'll see down there all that dirt coming out. Buddy, you guys scoot back a little bit, okay? He has a brother also that will be coming out soon in a video. It's a Corgi mix and he gets a bath and undercoat removal. Turn, and turn, 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 turn. So if I was hand bathing instead of using this bathing system, I would probably have to wash this dog three or four times by hand to get him clean. But because the bathing system has continuously clean soapy water i don't have to you know lather up the dog and rinse the dog and repeat that until the dog is clean i can just sit here and rub the dog and because it's got the clean soapy water it's washing away all of that um, dirt and it's not just sitting on the coat needing to be rinsed off So some of this is going to be stained. It, it'll look um, like it's not clean, but it is. It's just stained because it's red clay and red clay stains. And you see how much better his chest and neck look. Okay, I'm just gonna turn him real quick. Come here, boy. 
And then we're gonna do the anal glands. So for those of you that don't understand or don't know um, what the anal glands are, they are basically sacs on either side of the anus. They are filled with an oil-based substance that has scent. They're, they're essentially scent glands. And so when the dog defecates, every time the dog defecates, a little bit of that secretion goes onto the dog's feces. And so if a dog smells another dog's feces, that's what they're smelling is those anal gland secretions. And because dogs are domesticated and because a lot of people feed soft food or even hard food can do it, the dogs are no longer able to secrete enough anal gland to keep them from becoming full and impacted. And if the anal glands become impacted, usually the only way to fix that is surgery. And I have groomed two dogs since being here at Rovers that have had to have that done. Um, there's a lot of controversy around, you know, whether or not a dog should have the anal glands done at every visit. You know, you guys are more than welcome to your opinion but i you know as a groomer for 11 years find it is necessary to go ahead and do the anal glands at every single visit just to prevent anal glands from becoming impacted um, i have not found it true that if you start a dog young with anal glands then they have to have it done for the rest of their lives it doesn't make it worse. It doesn't make it any better if, you know, it, it not only is it domestication, but it's also genetics. Um, I have some dogs that come in every six weeks and they never have any anal gland secretions that need to be done. Um, and then I have other dogs that come in and they're on the verge of impaction every single time they come in. So my opinion anal gland should be done every single groom. So I'm just gonna get him in the cage dryer and then when he gets dry, we'll get him finished. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna take this wall arco. We're gonna put it all the way over at the knot or actually all the way over at the 40. We're gonna start with the paw pads. Usually he doesn't have much. Come here, bud. This guy is what I call a dribbler. Um, he nervous pees a lot. So I'm going to take the nine. Oh. Do the sanitary really well. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? You happy? Huh? What are you doing? <sighs> Alright, so now I'm going to get the Dremel. 
and a muzzle. This guy can be a little iffy on his nails. Um, sometimes both of these dogs can be. So I just go ahead and muzzle. You know, muzzling does not hurt them in any way and it keeps the groomer safe, so. Some days he does really good and then other days it's like, oh no, it's the end of the world. So. You're okay. They are pretty short, so we don't, you know, they don't need much, but they still need a little bit. Yep. Really? We're gonna do all that? Guess I didn't have it tight enough. You can't bite. Hey, no, no, sir. We're not doing that. Nope. You're fine. We've done this before. Mm-mm. I'm gonna turn him, we're gonna do this other side. No. This, that's how these muzzles get torn up. Is That's why they have to be replaced. Is because the dogs try to get it off. We're done. See, you're fine. So I just take a seven blade. Number seven blade. I'm going to take this off now. And come back around this way. No, you were right. This way's good. You're right. Okay. I do a seven reverse. So with this, the, when you go in reverse, If I go this way, you can see how little bits are still up. It doesn't look as smooth. When you go in reverse, it makes it smoother. And this going reverse does not work with every kind of coat. There are multiple, multiple kinds of coats. This guy has a really fine 
um, coat. Just gives it a better look, a smoother finish. It's making a squeaky noise. When you go reverse, you have to be careful and get every part because if you don't, if you just miss a little tiny part, you're going to have really, really long hair in one spot. And see how much wider the coat is after the bath. This guy was really dirty. And they're, they usually are super dirty when they come in and it's just because of you know, they live in the country and they're outside all the time and, um, yep. Okay, I'm going to switch blades. Then I'm going to turn him.
Mm, go stand up, bud. This guy's name is Mac, and then his brother's name is Earl. Bud, you gotta stand up. All right, so I'm gonna just move him to the middle. And we're gonna take this off. And... This is from him laying in the cage while he was drying. You're kind of lazy boy. Put him back on the loop. We're gonna do his front legs and then we'll do his head. No, you gotta stand up. No.
You look so much better, boy. That lip licking that he's doing is just telling me, hey, you know, I don't, I don't like what you're doing. So I always am aware of their body language. No, no, no. These guys are always in pretty rough shape when they come in. Just see a lot of cuts and nicks on him all the time. I don't know if it's because he plays with the dog or what, but... He's Always got some nicks and cuts. There's one there. There's one up here. So I'm gonna do a shorter blade on the ears than a seven. Just wanna clean up around the ears. I'm gonna get a comb and I'm going to comb this out. Brush it to one side and then I can see where that line is. Brush it to the other side. Mohawks can be hard to get started, like if you're just starting out doing a mohawk on a dog, but once you have that pattern set, it's pretty easy to stick with it. And we're gonna trim that a little bit too. I'm just gonna turn him, then we're gonna do around the ear on this side. And then I'm just going to take the other clippers and we're going to set it to a 15.
So after I get this guy finished, I'm gonna do his brother. Again, like I said earlier in this video, that'll be up pretty soon after this video. Just like to clean this mouth up a little better. I switched it to a nine. take scissors, trim around the ears. Then we're gonna do the mohawk because it is really long. One about half of that length. I mean, and that's that's really it besides bandana and, you know, doggy cologne. I'm going to brush out his tail real quick. And, I mean, that's, that's what he looks like. There he is all done. Just a spot over here. all right guys that is it don't forget to check out the links down below everything i use and recommend is the is in the amazon storefront uh, down below is the link and the bathing system and bathing um, in the bathtub is also linked down below. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.